So Hendrick have revealed their 2018 cars. Now, I didn't know the paint schemes would be that good. I'll show you guys in a second if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, but also the Camaro itself, if you guys got good looks at the nose of the car. Um, that's kind of why I'm making this video. The Camaro is a big question mark heading into the Cup Series for next year because if the car does what it's supposed to do, uh, I think JGR's dominance might end. But if the car doesn't do what it's supposed to do, I don't think you'll see Hendrick gain that speed back because what Hendrick has been lacking is aero. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. Um, and let's just go straight to the paint schemes. Now, we're going to go one by one, and we're going to start off with Alex Bowman in the 88. Now, his paint scheme is very classic looking. The black 88 on the side um, with the nice white and blue in the nationwide. I love it. I think it's a great car. And uh, I think it's probably, I would say, the second best um, or maybe third best out of the cars. Uh, and then you'll see which one's my favorite. If you guys know me, you know which one's my favorite. But, um, yeah, I think it's the you know third best car. But it looks pretty good. The nose of the car looks good. Uh, it looks like a beast. And uh, I think also... I haven't seen many pictures of the rear of the car, but that's what I want to see too, because uh, just I just want to see what it looks like back there. Next up, we'll go with Jimmy Johnson. Now, this one, I don't know how many people feel about this paint scheme, so you guys can comment down below let me know what you think of it. It's very basic, kind of like the Martin Truex Jr. Furniture Row uh, paint scheme, which is like a, a one line going through it. Uh, black, lows, uh, lows for pros, and uh, it's different. I was not expecting it. Very, very different. Um, I think at night, it will look pretty good because of the all black scheme should shine very nicely, but I don't know. I was, I was expecting more Lowe's colors, but Lowe's, uh, with the Lowe's or pros campaign, they just kind of ditched the Lowe's colors. And, and I guess I don't know much about Lowe's for pros. Maybe there's some kind of yellow incorporated because the pros is yellow, but, uh, I don't know. It was kind of weird to see that car. I don't know. Just black. It's, it's my least favorite out of the cars. I don't see much, you know, design in it, but it is what it is. Jamie's a seven-time champ. Might be eight by the time he gets in that car, so I don't think there's many, uh, much complaining to do. Next up, we have Chase Elliott in the nine. I think this car looks great. It's my second favorite car. Um, it's very another classic-esque looking car with Napa, but it has a mix of modern in it, um, and it looks great. And again, the nose and all that stuff looks great. I would just like to see some pictures of the rear of the cars because I've not seen... Um, well, I think the, when they first revealed the Camaro, but not seeing what really, uh, the, the cars, the Hendrick cars look like from the back, um, what they're going to be, maybe the, you know, suspension wise, what it's going to look like from the back. We'll see that on the track, but, um, yeah, Chase Elliott's car, it's kind of what we expected, uh, with the white and blue of Napa and, and some yellow involved and um, he's going to be back in the nine car. It's the car that he wants to be in. Uh, I don't think he wanted to, to, after a while, I don't think he wanted to take over that 24 car, um, with the burden that, it, that it, uh, peeps on your shoulders uh, with that 24 car. So um, speaking of the 24, let's transition to it. Now, when I saw this car, I legitimately almost shed a tear. Uh, I was not expecting this. I was expecting something completely different um, because I thought William Byron's sponsor, uh, one of his main sponsors is the one he runs in the Xfinity series right now. Um, I forgot the name, but uh, it's, it's that bluish car um, with the nine car. And I thought that was going to carry over and it will carry over, but uh, the 24 car has flames on it again. We have another stock car that has flames on it. And this is, I mean, I'm biased, but I've seen um, the reaction on Twitter. And you guys can comment down below. I've seen that it's the best car, um, according to a lot of people. It's the best looking car. It is basically a, uh, a mirror image of Jeff Gordon's 2015 car. The flames are a little bit different, but um, it's, it's Gordon's 2015 Exalta scheme, the 2014 Exalta scheme. It's the same thing. It's beautiful. Um, it, it made it, when I see that thing on the track, uh, it's gonna bring back a lot of memories, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I'm, I'm obviously gonna have to root for William uh, pretty hard now. That 24 car is gonna be awesome. I kind of wish Alan Gustafson and then and the rest of the team 24 would be on that 24 team, but that's not how it's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, the the five team that's gonna be on that 24 team. So that's gonna be a little bit getting used to, but I'm still gonna call it Team 24. That number carries so much history and so much legacy that uh, it is very hard to follow up um, what Jeff did in it. So I think William's the perfect guy to do it. Um, he's got, I'm a little bit worried about the experience factor, but he races with a lot of maturity. Um, and hopefully as the years go on, I think he'll probably struggle in, a, in his first uh, maybe two years. But as the years go on, I think he's going to learn a lot. And I think because he's learned so quickly to get to this point, he'll continue to learn very quickly. If Hendrick can give him the cars that are capable of winning, right now you know that Hendrick can't give uh, these race-winning cars week in and week out. But if 
Hendrick can offer uh, their drivers race winning cars week in week out I don't think there's much better than William Byron to go ahead and take over the reins of the 24 and see what he could do with it it's going to be his ride now um, the the legacy of Gordon will always kind of hover over it um, but that's how it is with three car as well that's how it is with uh, Richard Petty's 43 that's how it will be with Jimmy Johnson's 48 once he gets out of the sport um, and that's how it is for for a lot of guys so you just have to deal with it let me know what you guys think of the cars let me know what you guys think of the Camaro now uh, what Hendrick have been lacking um, from what a lot of people within the sport think that they've been lacking from uh, is the aero package. Even the Ford guys think it. Uh, the aero of the Toyota body um, gives them an advantage. Now, the Camaro is supposed to combat that. If you've seen the front of the Camaro, it is very, very pointy. It's very slick. It's very aerodynamically, uh, it looks very aerodynamically efficient. Um, now I'm not a scientist, I'm not, phys you know, I'm not someone who can say, oh, that car is going to be way faster, but just the way it looks, it, you can see comparisons to the Toyota Camry, how the Camry is also uh, a little bit pointy and, and slick, and the hood is dented a little bit into where, where you can have air flow through it better. The Camaro is the same kind of way, um, even a little bit more aggressive, I would say, than the, than the, uh, the Camry now. So, We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm expecting Hendrick to gain that aero advantage back next year. I don't think it'll happen in the first five or ten races, but I feel like later on in the year, they will gain that speed that is needed to compete week in, week out, um, because I've seen that what they're lacking is definitely um, in the aero side, which makes what Kyle Larson do is doing right now in a Chevy uh, very impressive, because he has that aero disadvantage, and he can still uh, be that fast. So it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. I think the Camaro looks great. Uh, and I want to see the Camaro, uh, the Camry and the, the Ford just go at it. I want to see the, the fusion, the Camry and the, the, what is it called? Camaro, uh, go at it. And I want to look more of like a level playing field as the Toyotas have really, really pulled away. Um, I think we all know there's going to be a dominant team or two, but hopefully if we get like a dominant team from each manufacturer that could always battle it out. That'd be pretty good. So We'll see how it goes. Comment down below what you think of the uh, the paint schemes. And uh, I'm going to go look at that 24 car a little bit longer and realize that if I do go to Daytona next year or if I watch it on TV, um, for the first time in three years, I'll be seeing that 24 car back on the track with flames on it. And that's going to be uh, pretty special for all 24 fans. And that'll be... That'll be a pretty cool scene, so I can't wait for that. If you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and uh, peace out. I can't change, even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change, even if I try. My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.